told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Hey everybody, welcome back to What the Face is. You can see, we're not shaving yet. I'm just showing you uh, production. So this is building our new aftershave wall mount uh, rack, which holds uh, four aftershaves. Um, this was donated to us, the files to create these, and another two files, which is a flat surface um, aftershave uh, holder, which actually has aftershaves for five. Uh, those were donated by Chuck Lachance. I hope I'm saying his last name right. Uh, if not, I apologize, Chuck. I, I, I really do. Um, we are dedicating uh, a spot on the website for these products. Um, like I said, they're printing now. We want to get a little bit of a head start of anybody who wants them. So we have a few of them on, uh, a few of them in stock before I put them up on the website. Each one takes uh, 13 hours to print. Uh, it's just the way it is with uh, 3D printing. So it's not a fast process. Um, but nonetheless, I have two uh, workstations and they're going at it. Um, and everything is turning out well. Um, now, if you remember, I, uh, I created these... Um, uh, aftershave holders and let me just pick one out here let me just get it for you so this one it's pretty simple design and and the reason it was pretty simple it was because I had to do a simple thing and it was just organized this entire in this entire uh, collection of aftershaves so when someone orders something it's easy for me to identify where it is and I just pull it and then I package it and send it out and and this and and my design is for that now if um, going forward we are still going to offer this one it's it's fine there's nothing wrong with it uh, but if you want a little more stylish um, flair then we offer this so this is the wall mount and you can see you can uh, you can install it just by hanging it on the wall like that and it'll stay flat and a bottle goes into the slots and you can hold four of them this way now the only reason why we selected four is because the build plate on my two 3d printers are are not big enough for five so we we did that now the other design Chuck created was this um, flat version where you sit it on a on a, uh, a cabinet nightstand whatever and you get to insert your aftershaves here and it will hold five so there's an advantage to the flat one as opposed to the wall mounted one now uh, they're going to be uh, available, like I said, uh, shortly. Maybe, maybe uh, when you're hearing this, uh, they should be available. I'm not 100% sure how many we'll have uh, by that time. But uh, just take a look at the website, and if it's there, you can always get one. So with, um, without further ado, we'll uh, take you to the shave, and we'll talk about some stuff. So uh, stay tuned, don't go away. Okay, here we are in the den. Thank you for staying with us. Um, I just wanna show you the, um, the wall mounted unit with all the bottles in it. So you could see this would be flush against the wall and you just pick out your bottle, you throw it in, works perfectly. Really nice design. Uh, and let me just show you the other one and I'll sw swap out the bottles for for the uh, the five bottle unit of aftershave. I'm just transferring the bottles in 
in there. I'm going to add one from my rack. And here we are. And there you go. And this is the one that lays flat on a shelf, whatever you want to place it on. And uh, I think he did a wonderful job. A wonderful job. So, with that, I'll just place this back down. And uh, we're going to do, um, I feel, you know, as the heat comes on, uh, I feel like another cool shave. So, I'm going to use a shaving cream today, no bowl lathering. But um, I'm going to do a Nancy Boy shave, signature scent, and that's what it looks like there. Um, um, so uh, I had a discussion uh, with a couple of friends uh, on the same day uh, with uh, about this, and uh, it all uh, sparked something in me to, to just do a shave with it. So. Um, that's what we'll do. So, uh, we'll do. So stick around. Don't go away. I'll be right back. So now I have, uh, about six days growth, six, seven. So let me wet the face. I want to get this really nice and hydrated. Um, I'm going to hydrate my wet the face brush and now I'm gonna open up the shaving cream I'm just gonna kinda like dip and twirl <laughs> I'll show you what I'm doing and that's what I need so if I need more I'll just add more but I think that'll do the trick let me just place that up there um, for those of you who are interested in what I put in my hair, I've been using this lately, the Hair Styling Cremo, Barber Grade Styling stuff. Because of the other stuff I used to use, I couldn't find anymore. But you see, this is like all gone. So I went back to the store that I bought this from. It was CVS, and I didn't have it anymore. Then I had to go, I went to this one. It's a thickening paste. It's a high hold, low shine, and it has almost the same scent and does about the same thing. I guess it's holding. And I also picked up this. I haven't tried this, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just saw it and thought, ah, I'll give it a shot. It's a good line. You know, they have grooming products, good line, and uh, texturizing putty. I don't know what to do with it. I'll try it like one day when I can just wash out my hair and not jump on a train and go to work. So, so though if you're curious, that's what I use in my hair. I'm gonna now put more more water in there, and then uh, now I'm gonna use circular motions. Gonna wet the brush a little bit. In fact. So there's something about this, the way they made this shaving cream, it's just phenomenal. If you really want to if I had a top 10 list, which I do not because things change all the time, this this would be up there as something I would use more often than not. And the reason why I don't, you don't see me using it all that often, is because I have to do other reviews. I don't get a chance to use what I want sometimes. And there you go. Okay, now. We're gonna wet this down and we're gonna start, let's start at the top this time. Here we go. So I've been, I've been really busy with uh, trying to get 
caught up with all the stuff I have to make. And uh, as you can see, you know, yeah, production's still going on for me. So I have my shirt on. This is the shirt I use when I'm making stuff because it has holes in it, rips and tears. And if I get acid in it, it doesn't matter. So I have been watching something called Night Sky and it has uh, starring Sissy Spacek and J.K. Sim uh, Simon Simons I can't remember I can't remember but um, you'll know he's the voice of the yellow Eminem <laughs> really he was in uh, Whiplash great movie too not my tempo. <laughs> uh, so, they're uh, a couple. They're an elderly couple uh, living like upstate in a secluded area. Uh, and they found something on their property while they were, I guess, building a basement or some nonsense like that. Uh, and... Uh, They've kept it secret for 20 years. And they're not the only ones with one. In fact, there's a lot of them in a lot of different places. And they're being protected. I don't want to spoil it for you. I'm not sure if I even made a video explaining about this. If I did, I'm, I'm sorry to repeat myself, but I liked it a lot. And the payoff at the end. Now this is a slow moving um, series. It's on Prime Video. There's no word yet that there's going to be a second season. And where it leaves off, you could basically end the series there. But everybody wants to know when the second season is because it's quite, it's quite amazing, um, the ending. So, that's my movie pick. And I think you really enjoy it. Just stay with it, because the payoff is good in the end. All right. So I have, I feel the sl slickness on this as I put water on my face to end the shave it's it's really I mean I I got a close shave really did and uh, I have nothing bad to say about this shaving cream whatsoever it is fantastic and I'm just gonna now this is not something that uh, really goes but it's close the 1k I'm just gonna shake this up Yeah, and then uh, 
Oh boy, it does pair pretty well. All right. So there you have it. A great shave. Uh, Nancy Boy signature scent. They have a couple. <coughs> they have sandalwood, which I do have, but um, I prefer the signature scent one. It's just, it's so good on the face. So I had a great shave, and I hope you have a great shave, and I'll see you next week. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away.